I am going to Ed's office to discuss utilities and renewable energy. I understand you went and met with uh, some people about utilities. What did you think of those meetings? Getting in and, and pulling back some of the layers of, of, of each business, you know, makes it a lot easier to determine if, if you want to invest in that sector or not. Absolutely. Now, when you look at the different ones between wind, you know, possibly solar, and also just regular electric utilities, you might end up making a little bit more money in the long run on solar and wind, but electric utilities are more stable, and you got to think what kind of risk you want to take. All right. Sounds good. Okay. In respect to gold, right, you met with a gentleman named Mike Bonham. What was your understanding of gold and how that might fit into your portfolio? I don't think gold is for me. <laughs> you don't think gold's for you? No. no. Remember this line, Winford. No matter how good an investment is, if you're not comfortable with it, it's not a good investment. So no matter what a financial advisor recommends to you, unless you're comfortable, you don't do it. Okay. Okay? I don't think I'm ready. You're doing a great job of looking versus just trusting or assuming. And, exactly. And that's very important. Exactly. We're leaving for our honeymoon today. We're off to the Bahamas to celebrate our marriage. I'm very excited. We'll be going for a week. Hopefully the market won't tank again while I'm gone, but I'm not even gonna look at it, so. Relaxation and sun. At one point I was very, you know, I had a competitive nature when it came to investing my money, but I'm more concerned about myself and my family now and, and preserving that. My impression with this approach to in investments, it's a very modest approach, which a guy that's going into the world of being married, you know, should be in. Gold is not for me. I think that alternative energy companies is a very interesting business opportunity. I'd like to look at it a little bit more. I have my place for sale, and once that place sells, we're going to find another house together. I'm not a greedy person. If I can just have what I have now, 10 years from now, I'll be fine. A career as a pro athlete like Winfred's may not be something that everyone can identify with, but investing for the future and taking care of our families is a topic that we all deal with every day. Together, Winfred and Ed have developed a plan that provides for a balanced portfolio and a healthy financial future for his family. We hope you enjoyed watching The Invested Life. To stay up to date with Winfred, come back regularly to check up on his progress.